What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the new updates that is happening to Final Cut Pro. Now it is Final Cut Pro 11 and tell you a little bit about the features that I personally love. I'm not going to go deep into majority of them, but some of the features that I absolutely love, I'll talk about them and I'll show you on the screen with the project. So let's dive in and the first thing, do the update because some of you don't have automatic updates on. Go to your app store and update Final Cut to Final Cut Pro 11. Also, in your settings, it should be a new update. It's a Pro Video Formats update, and it has, if you can see right here, it has the Pro Formats package provides supporting of the following codecs that are used in professional workflow. So you have Apple ProRes RAW and ProRes RAW HQ, Apple Intermediate Codecs. So there's plenty to choose from, and that is actually a huge deal because footage should have been given to me by some other videographers. I plug it into the NLE and it just has issues with it. So with this thing, it actually creates new supports. Download that for sure. So in this update, as you can see, you have AI powered. So you definitely want to look into MacBooks or uh, devices that are having M chips or at least that one M chip, because that's going to allow you to use that AA power. Final Cut Pro 11. Let's just go ahead and dive in. I'm going to show you what it's capable of. So let me go ahead and create a new project. We'll call it Final Cut Pro 11. Let's put it 4K. And just so you know, I'm running this on Mac Studio M2 Ultra, which is pretty powerful machine. So it should not have any hiccups when you actually play back the 4K footage on this timeline. I downloaded some of my favorite stock clips from my latest favorite uh, stock footage and assets websites, Motion Array. I, I think they're awesome. I love it. So you have a couple of clips. I'm going to just drop it down. So we have the boat, the swan. There's just like a party. Let's do the kids dancing. Let's do the voiceover that I did, AI voiceover. I uh, just wanted to try out this. Uh, let's just go ahead and click on the transcribe and captions and see what it does. And this is in real time. So you can just click on that part and, and change it if something is not right. This is an absolutely fantastic update for Final Cut Pro 11. There are not many new features, but the ones they added push this NLE to the big dogs like DaVinci Resolve, and that's it. You thought I was going to say Premiere Pro, didn't you? Haha. -ha. And the only thing that you can probably customize is the formatting, the bold, the italic, the underline, and then the color of the text. So a very minimal changes that you can do. Uh, which is unfortunate, but still it's something. I guess it's better than, than nothing, right? Let's go ahead and add a magnetic mask just by dragging and you can choose, you can see how well it is selecting the objects. It's automatically knowing what you're trying to put it on and you can just drag and drop it. As you can see, I can choose the ocean or you can choose the actual ship. So it, definitely sees the uh, subjects or you can just drag it onto the file drag it onto the file you go to settings of the effects magnetic and then you just simply have this pen dropper tool and you just select just put it on the ship and it just automatically selects it if it does not do a great job you can simply hold a option or alt i think on the mac and you click and you subtract some of the things that you don't want to be included in the magic mask magnetic mask and then analyze if you click analyze and this is doing in real time how it analyzes it keep in mind it is if i'm not mistaken it's like a 6k or 4k clip and it analyzes in real time i'm not speeding this up or anything so you can see how it goes to the right what do you call it a gritter scope uh, that's pretty much what it's doing and you probably can tell how it just goes out a little bit out of the borders it's not doing like absolutely amazing job but it's good enough and it's done 
you can put an original clip underneath and then just let's go to effects and just choose like a I don't know 3d text or so so we're gonna put this 3d text on between the clips the one that has the magnetic mask is gonna be on top that did all the work on the bottom I'm just gonna choose the original so I selected this basic 3d text and all I have to do is just hold option and go arrow up and down so much easier to move the clips as a precise dropping down a specific either effect or the clip itself to move it up and down just by using the simple hold option key I think that's a really huge improvement I absolutely love that one let's actually type in big ship so you can see how it does and on the side it's not as perfect on the right side because it thinks that the waves that ship is creating is a part of ship and all I have to do is just find that particular area and just simply fine-tune it just by placing those those reduction points so and then reanalyze it again So let's move on to the next clip. We're gonna just have this swan trying to take off on the lake. Beautiful video. Let's go ahead, choose color board, and we're gonna make this swan into a pink flamingo. Let's just go ahead and analyze it. And this is in real time, I'm not doing anything. Seems like it's doing a pretty good job. It does loses, I feel like, when the, the internal wing, the left wing shows down it just doesn't show but another cool feature but it's been already you can rename your changes your <clears throat> you can rename your changes that you made so let's go ahead and make oh no it's it's purple let's make him a like a pink flamingo so here you are pretty easy pretty good i think apple made a little step in the right direction so let's take this group of guys and girls we're gonna just cut that clip in half and somewhere over there so somewhere in the middle we made a cut and then we take the second part and we're gonna do the call out so we select the point point is gonna be on the dog I'm gonna highlight this dog you can adjust the window it is kind of offset but it's still you can adjust everything then zoom in, create that call out. Then you can just round it if you want to. Outline, create an outline. Just it's all up to you. However you want to do it. Specific parts when you're actually doing some kind of instructional video, you can absolutely use this call out, and I think is going to be so good for explainer videos, tutorials, and um, close-ups. That was going to work too. Let's take that same clip. We're gonna put it on the next clip that we have. And now it's gonna be the picture in picture. So let's gonna go ahead and like just move this thing around with that control wheel. Let's make the window just a little bit smaller. Somewhere in there. It's gonna be all that dog again. So if you're doing with videos just like this one, and actually I'm gonna be doing the same thing with this video. So you're probably gonna see my face somewhere in the edge of that screen of the instructional video. It works pretty well. I like it. Then you choose how round it is. Fine tune it the way you want it to. And you have that puppy kind of in the corner of that screen. Then again, you can extend it however you want to extend it. It's just uh, world is your oyster now. Limited oyster. Some creative shots that you can actually do, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna get back to the ship, is you can put on the magnetic mask onto the ship, invert the mask and have something cool, some kind of cool texture, something unique underneath the text. I just got this just photo of a fabric, a rough fabric, and see how that's gonna look. It's gonna be trippy, but again, if you wanna do some creative stuff, you will try some of these things. And as you can see, you can adjust everything the way you like it to cover the whole ship. Let me just put it like that.
back. So, yeah, it is kind of weird, trippy, but yeah, it's just creative stuff. Now, let's go ahead and get to the kids. And one cool thing is that it does analyze the picture, even though you see how busy the picture is and you can actually select a person and it will try to find it as much as possible, that person, that kid in this case. So, and they're gonna be dancing, doing all the moves. So we're gonna test it out. If it's gonna be as good as some other NLEs, especially like DaVinci Resolve, the magic mask. So let's just track this couple of kids. So let's go ahead and just put a magnetic mask on one of them. And you can see it's not perfect if you just drag it and drop it. So you probably would want to use maybe like a pen tool and just add those points for more precision. Add a mask and it's gonna be different colors. So you can differentiate which ones that you selected, which one that works, which one it didn't. So feather it out however you like. It's not bad. It tracks pretty decent. Some of them a little bit glitchy, but if you adjust it, the cool part about this, you can choose those talents kids, and then you can just adjust the color wheel. You can adjust that you brighten them up. If you have a talent and just to make him pop or her pop out of the picture, you can use that magnetic mask and just bring the brightness, the contrast and everything. Or in this case, just drop drop it down the brightness and uh, make, it, make it so uh, more players need to be unlocked. But uh, otherwise it's not bad. Transitions, out, out of all these module transitions, I probably would use maybe like side to side, top to bottom or rectangular transition. That actually looks kind of bad. I'm probably not gonna use star ever, unless it's something patriotic, I don't even know. That's just too cheesy. So, but yeah, but this is how it works. Just simple, cool transition that you can utilize in your creative projects. So, this is it. This is the Final Cut Pro 11. I don't think it's just a huge, massive update, but I believe that this is good enough and again, right step in the right direction. So that's it. That's all the features that I'm personally excited about. And those are the main ones that I just talked about. And I believe that this is a small step in the right direction. Uh, hopefully with AI capability, now we can have so much more plugins, so much more changes with the updates, like, I don't know, uh, a final cut 11.1 .1, probably going to have some decent i hope fingers crossed there's a decent amount of improvements and additions to this very simple very user-friendly nle i'm happy to see that apple did not forget about final cut pro knowing that davinci resolve and premiere pro adobe is just battling uh trying at least battle because davinci resolve right now is just it kills all the other NLEs. Okay, I'm done talking. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got something helpful out of it. I'm, I'm excited about this. Final Cut Pro 11 is great, sweet, short improvements, small improvements, but nonetheless, it is improvements that a lot of people have been asking, a lot of people have been waiting for. And if I miss some of the updates that are pretty badass, Please put in the comments below. Let people know. Let the community know. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and uh, stay awesome, my friend. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.